Hi Scorpio, I already filmed this and it just didn't work so I'm gonna just start all over which is very annoying. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you are dealing with the Scorpio, this is for you. We're gonna look at how your person is feeling about you, so the person on your mind. Now, if you do not have a person on your mind, this is going to be your future person coming through. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, Scorpio. In the reading I just filmed for you, um, it was speaking about someone really needing to get their, not really their priorities straight, but I was picking up on someone that was juggling a lot uh, it was likely pertaining to their financial situation or their career. Um, and I don't know, I feel like they haven't seen you in some time or something like that. Um, but your person was going to be reaching out to you very soon if you have not spoken to them. I was picking up a lot of earth energy, specifically Taurus and... Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna start all over and get into it. Okay, link in the description box below to book a reading with me. I do have a service called How Did They Feel About You, where we literally look into how your person is feeling. So it's just like this, but it's a personal reading. So that's gonna all be in the description box below, as well as Patreon. Uh, shout out to my Patreon gang. Those of you in my love tier, you guys have early access to all my love readings so you guys have already seen this so love you guys shout out to you let's get started with um scorpio's person the person on your mind we're gonna see how you can like how how you can tell that we are picking up on them today okay so let's see uh, can we can we get some insight on um scorpio's person please or your future person let's see scorpio's person please can we get some insight on scorpio's person who is scorpio dealing with who is scorpio thinking about let's see Person on Scorpio's mind, please. Person on Scorpio's mind. Person on Scorpio's mind, please. Okay. This card fell. Yeah, two of two of pentacles reversed. This is what I was talking about. Let me just let me just try to get this other card. I don't know what okay, same cards are falling. Great. I don't know what it is about my setup right now, you guys, but my cards keep falling everywhere and it's super annoying. Okay, we have the judgment card, we got the two of pentacles. So I was saying this in your last reading, Scorpio. It's something very magical and very like meant to be, very like faded when it comes to you and this person. It could be about um the way that you two met. It was like really right place at the right time. We are talking about star-crossed lovers. We're talking about something that is meant to be. You two have likely been manifesting one another, so it just feels really surreal real when you do meet them okay so that's something i'm saying i'm seeing and then like i said someone is juggling a lot at once it could be you or your person okay we also got the eight of Pent eight of cups here you may have met them around a full moon or it's going to be the upcoming full moon okay specifically the full moon that we had um in scorpio back in taurus season okay so this could be a new relationship excuse me we got the ten of pentacles i do see an emphasis also on like a living situation okay i don't know if this person lives with their family like extended family possibly this person may live with siblings uh sorry i meant to say roommates okay but siblings too i guess those are roommates i'm getting something about an apartment building as well an apartment complex so i feel as though this person either lives in a big house with family members or they live in yeah some type of like building anyways we got the two of swords here a lot of emphasis here on the number two a lot of emphasis here scorpio on needing to juggle things needing to make decisions needing to prioritize it's like yes or no do we do we give this person a shot or no do we move forward or no it feels like a lot of this um connection between you and this person it has felt a bit like a back and forth maybe in your mind you've been wondering if this is the right relationship for you or the right connection for you to pursue scorpio um or again like someone just has a lot on their plate and a lot on their minds okay so your person scorpio they may seem cool calm collected from the outside looking in but i would say that there is a lot um that is unfolding for them i would also go on to say that there is some type of healing journey that your person is going through i'm not sure if they've opened up to you about this but i do feel so like emotionally speaking spiritually speaking scorpio your person is releasing a lot and like going through a lot of motions what else do we have we got the magician card this also came up in the reading i just filmed for you your person is very eloquent very good with their words they could be a sweet talker they could be um a poet okay maybe just the way they speak is very poetic or they might literally write poetry they may write music or just be in 
involved in music they may really love music okay that's just something that i'm really picking up for them i feel like also their sweet talk is the way that they get out of certain um situations so if they have been you know kind of mia for a while because of work or whatever they have going on or traveling or family stuff they're going to be making it up to you by being very like sweet and kind to you okay so that's also something i'm noticing so you may notice that your person again this could be a future person they're good with their words they're very charming um they I think they get a lot of things with their charm as well like i feel as though they're well treated by those around them because they are attractive and again charming people so you may notice that when you're with them you're treated very well or they get treated like with special treatment or something like that okay but your person is just very kind and very good with their words okay we got the eight of swords so emphasis here on the number eight and on the number two this could be someone's birthday this, this could be when you met august 2nd let's say you know february 8th something like that and we have the nine of wands a lot of hesitation is is um taking place here with your person scorpio i would say that there's a lot of circumstances mostly is what i'm hearing they wish that things could be different they wish that the circumstances were different so that they could like win you over a bit more i do feel as though you may be dealing with someone also that tends to be hard on themselves when their life isn't as together as they feel that it should be we have the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so i'm feeling scorpio like this person has genuine feelings for you whoever you're dealing with they do genuinely have attraction towards you they really appreciate your your natural beauty they appreciate your essence your energy they feel so you are very unique okay they feel like you have good intentions as well scorpio um but i'm feeling like this person again they may be beating themselves up because they're taking so much time at work or their financial situation is not up to par i feel so this person likely has some type of upbringing or childhood that required them to show up and present themselves a certain way so i feel like it's causing them to now have like issues with that currently in their love life where they may feel like they're not good enough or they just want to have a certain look they just want to present themselves a certain way they want to have a clean image when it comes to you and in general if that makes sense so i'm feeling as though that's part of the reason why this person may be pushing you away for some time or just not feeling like their best selves at this time because i'm seeing a lot of hesitation here a lot of them feeling as though you know maybe they're not good enough or just hesitating to reach out possibly for some or you may be dealing with someone also that is like indecisive they may overthink a lot of things or they just are at their limits right now scorpio because they've been dealing with so much so we have the nine of us a nine of pentacles we have the ten of swords i really feel like you're dealing with someone scorpio that just experienced a huge uh transition okay it could be just spiritually speaking all the things are overcoming or there's something that they physically had to end or walk away from there could be something about a relationship that they may have had to terminate it could be regarding like a family member or a friend it doesn't necessarily need to be romantic but i feel like your person scorpio just had to cut ties or just had to really close a chapter to something significant so they could be feeling burnt out because of this okay we also have the um four of cups that's so beautiful so again it's coming through to remind you scorpio the two of you have met each other for a reason there's a lot that you two can learn from one another i feel as though there's some things that we have to take um not take advantage of but we have to see like the bright side of things because the four of cups is about um accepting the blessings that the universe is offering to us it's also about looking at the glass half um full okay because there's like there's no reason to beat ourselves up over um things that we can't change okay so i don't know if it's you scorpio or if this person you're dealing with but we have to let go of like negative thinking being pessimist we have to be more like carefree and open-minded because i feel like the two of you have a lot of like good things to give to one another you know what i'm saying like there's a reason why you two met okay you're gonna be like you were put in their path to help them overcome some type of harsh truth or some type of transition okay they always say you meet a scorpio when your life is about to change or you're meeting a scorpio right at the beginning of a transition that you're going through so scorpio it's looking like this is playing out right now and i know you're shaking your head thinking i don't want to always be meeting someone when they are starting over or when they are going through something really tough really challenging but scorpio 
you have a gift and you are the one that helps people through these times you're you're able to tap into energies and concepts that a lot of people don't see and don't feel or they don't allow themselves to tap into but unfortunately scorpio or fortunately for you you naturally tap into all these things that people normally shy away from and don't want to talk about okay let's go ahead and see how your person is feeling scorpio I'm speaking fast in this reading because I don't want the reading to be 20 minutes long. Let's get into it. How is Scorpio's person feeling? Reminder, if you don't have anyone on your mind right now, Scorpio, this is going to be a future person coming through. Okay, so let's see. How does Scorpio's person feel about them? How is Scorpio's person feeling about them? I don't know why I'm congested. Like, I don't get it. We've had such beautiful, nice, hot weather lately, and I don't know why I'm feeling congested. I feel like when I don't get enough sleep, my body is just like, let's have allergies or let's get congested. Anyways, let's see. How is Scorpio's person feeling, please, spirit? How is Scorpio's person feeling? What does Scorpio need to know when it comes to their person? How is their person feeling? I'm also getting something about a candlelit dinner or something happening at nighttime, okay? Something about you met under the, the full moon. There's something about, again, the, the light, like the moonlight or candlelit. It's so random. Anyways, let's see. I will wait for a sign from you. I wish I had treated you better. Some of you are going to be reconciliating with someone from the past. Um, but I'm getting Scorpio. Someone just wants a second chance because I feel like they at least think that they've been working on themselves and they want to show you that they've changed so some if you haven't been communicating with them they're going to wait for a sign from you directly or you know if they're really religious or spiritual they'll look for a sign from the universe you know indicating that you are open to them again okay let's see what else do we have please take a moment to like um, this reading just give it a thumbs up it takes one second and it really helps with my algorithm it helps me feel like you guys actually like what i do and i just feel a little bit better about myself when you guys give this reading a thumbs up so if you can take one second while i shuffle these cards to just give this a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already leave a comment talk to me i'm also a scorpio let me know what we're dealing with okay we got um i left when I left when I saw you with someone. Ooh. Okay, Scorpio. Now I hope that you're not out here trying to make someone jealous. But I will say, Scorpio, if you are not currently communicating with this person or you haven't met this person already, it's possible that they are keeping an eye on your social media. It's possible that they are... You know they're asking about you to like mutual friends okay they're trying to they're trying to see what you what you're dealing with okay or who you're dealing with so for some you may have noticed that they started acting weird when they you know were under the impression that you were seeing someone else or something like that okay um also scorpio something i forgot to mention in your past reading i was picking up on someone that was working with uh celebrities or within their like their their in the public eye they may have a huge following that was something that i was picking up on more for how scorpio's person is feeling please oh my goodness uh, it's time for me to heal now. Yep. Scorpio, you're dealing with someone that has a lot going on. That doesn't mean that they don't want you. Just being near you is intoxicating, okay? I look for you everywhere. Okay, so again, someone from the past may be missing you, but just know, Scorpio, whatever your situation is, you're dealing with someone that has attraction for you, okay? I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like, Scorpio, you're dealing with someone who also, I feel like you trigger them a lot. What else is new? You trigger them a lot. They may have not really felt ready or prepared. Sorry, I didn't even do my hair today, but uh, they may not have felt prepared for how strongly they were going to feel about you or for how much you were going to trigger them. And you know what I mean? So I couldn't let you get close to me. That's how they're feeling. My life is not as together as it seems. And this is what I told you. You're at... I don't know how they're presenting themselves to you now, but just know that there's a lot that goes beyond the surface. They're dealing with either family situation, financial issues, or um, career, or just, you know, overall in life, they're just very overwhelmed. We're all going through it. So this could also be you, Scorpio, but this is what I'm getting from your person. They're open to seeing where things are going. There is an attraction 
and I feel like if there are any delays or there's any pushback or there has been in the recent past it's due to their life not being as together as it seems okay I'm going to end it here a cute little 15 minutes give this video a thumbs up I'll talk to you guys later sign up on patreon so you guys get all early access to all my videos and um, I'll talk to you soon bye